right, we're going. The whole idea is to keep everything as sterile and clean as possible. There's one flask. If you're doing more than one species at a time, make sure you keep everything separate so you know how to label afterwards. What I'm doing is flaming to sterilize. It also kills any seed that might be left from the last time. And then I cool it off quickly on the auger so that I don't cook the seeds before I sow them. And you can see a small amount of seed there, I hope. Basically you just scoop the seeds up the side of the vial and wipe them onto the auger. This works really easily with terrestrial seeds like these chlorea. If you're working with something that's epiphytic, epiphytic seeds sink, they don't float, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. In that case, it's often easier to use an eyedropper to squirt the seeds into the bottles. So there's one batch, and it's very easy to move on to the second batch. And again, can't stress cleanliness enough because all it takes is mold spores will grow much faster than orchid seeds will. And the mold spores will overtake the agar before the seeds even have a chance to grow. There. After you've got everything labeled, with terrestrial seeds you want to keep them in the dark, but you want to check them every day for the first two to three weeks to make sure of no contamination.